is, children, but Santa won't be here until you and Anne are sleeping. Oh, my God, I'm drunk of water. You've had a drink already. Now, children, it's time to go to sleep. Yes, Anne. Far up at the North Pole, Santa is reading your letter now. Why not? Boys and girls all over the world wonder how Santa lives. I think I'll send for them in my magic helicopter. Oh, Toby, come here. Santa. Tell me, take my magic color cup and bring the two children here to visit me. Mind you, you must hurry, for my time is short before I make the long Christmas Eve trip. Your own words are my command, Santa. Just a short hop in the magic helicopter. There it is. Santa's castle at the North Pole. Hold tight, kids. We're coming in for a snowy landing. Before you know it, Dick and Anne are hurried to the castle entrance. And see the busy elves hurrying to and fro. I'm very glad you came to see me. Yeah, wait a minute. Sit on my lap and let me tell you about Santa, which you might not know. The children are amazed. No trip to Santa Land would be complete without a tour of the village toy shop. The good little elves have a miniature town, and in every window have little toy people jumping around. Hard-working elves and Santa too, like pies and cakes and cookies. This little store delights in making all those yum-yum goodies. A tour of Santa's Happy Land would not be quite complete without a visit to his big toy warehouse, not far from the street. There's gifts and toys for everyone. It's really a big treat. There's bears and dogs and cats galore. There's lions, tigers too. They won't bite and they don't fight because they're just made for you. Those busy elves are everywhere and Santa needs them too. You wind them up, you turn them on, those funny little toys. The monkey drums and drums and drums, and he never does get tired. Our old mother bear, she scrubs and rubs. While Junior telephones, he'd rather talk the whole day through than do a lick of work. For little girls, a doll is fun to wash, to dress, and spank. And Santa has a big supply of every kind and type. How Anne enjoy these pretty dolls and Dick shows no delight. A kitchen full of household toys will keep the youngster busy. She'll cook and scrub the whole day long, then serve a TV dinner. For Dick and Ann, their visit's almost over, but Santa saved his pride and joy till last. We'll take his rocket to the Super Toy Town trains. All aboard! Whoosh! And here we are. Now, wasn't that fun? It's just a few steps from the rocket to a breathtaking view of Santa's wonderful trains. I wonder if Anne will be as excited as Dick. 
There's trains of all kinds coming and going, starting and stopping, logging trains, freight trains, streamliners, old-time choo-choos. I'll bet Daddy would enjoy this, too. And look, a toy circus with sideshows and a big three-ring circus tent. Did you ever see such a wonderful show? Look at that circus parade. Santa, do these trains ever wreck? They do. Gosh, that's fun. Oh, no wrecks today. This is loads of fun. We could watch them for hours. I'm so glad you came. Dick and Ann, always remember the entire Christmas celebration is to commemorate the birth of Jesus Christ hundreds of years ago in the wonderful spirit of Christmas. His goodwill on... Harry Hobotori, bye. Bye.